Hey, I'm Punga, I'm making this Lovecraft in point and click adventure game. The most important feature to a game like this is the dialogue system. I wanted to make a branching dialogue system with multiple choices. I had no idea how to do that, so I was looking for some tutorial on YouTube. There weren't any simple tutorials. All of it was too complicated or just simply it wasn't what I was looking for. I didn't know what to do, but then God came down from the sky and said, Sup dude, I know it's not my business, but duh, you're a programmer, just write your own dialogue system, idiot. I said, Jesus, you are a genius, I'm God, not Jesus, but thanks I guess. So I wrote my own system. I wanted to make a devlog about this game, but instead this is a tutorial on how to do a simple branching dialogue system. It's important that I'm a noob, so my script is probably garbage. But if you want a simple tutorial on how to do this, I hope this video can help. So first I declared a string and a game object array for the sentences and answers. In the start function I wanted to activate the answers, but the set active function is not working on arrays, so we need a for loop for this. After that I created a square because you need two people to make a dialogue. The square is currently the second person. We add a box collider 2D and make it a trigger. Then we make another script called dialogue activator and assign it to the square. We make an empty game object called Dialog Manager and assign the dialog script to it. In the Dialog Activator script, we make a serialized field game object called Dialog Manager. We also need to make two functions called on mouse enter and on mouse exit. We need the bull to check is the mouse cursor is currently on the game object or not. If the cursor is on the square and we press the left mouse button we can activate the dialog manager. We need to deactivate the dialog manager and the inspector, then drag it into the dialog activator script. As you can see in the hierarchy, when we click on the square, the dialog manager becomes active. After that we can make two text objects for the options that you can choose. Don't forget to add the button component to these objects. In the dialog manager we replace the sentences array with two different arrays, sentences 1 and sentences 2. We create two functions called dialog option 1 and 2. It's important to make these functions public so we can exceed it from the unity inspector. We need to declare that we are using the UI component of Unity or Text Mesh Pro. I recommend Text Mesh Pro, but the same thing can be done with Unity's built in UI system. After that, we need a reference to the dialog text object. We assign the text for both options. We also need to deactivate the to button. Then we need to create the dialog text object. After that we can assign the buttons and the dialog text in the dialog manager script. We can also write sentences for both options. We will activate the dialog text inside the script for both options. Don't forget to make it inactive in the inspector. 
As you can see, you can press both options, and it's working. You can introduce yourself to the square, or you can insult the poor guy. You also need to make the two buttons inactive, so you can activate it when clicking on the square. I also made an int called index and a bool called can continue, the index is 0 at start and I also updated the two functions with a few lines, but I will delete it later so it doesn't matter. Set the can continue bool to true in both functions. So if the bool is true and we press the left mouse button we will increase the index variable by 1. We make an int called option, if we pick option 1, the int will be equal to 1, if we pick option 2, the int will be equal to 2, if option is 1, we will show the first option's sentences, otherwise we will show the second. We will write a few new sentences to both options. We can now basically talk to the square. We will check if the index is bigger than the number of sentences, if not, then we will destroy the game object and disable the dialog text. Small correction, the index needs to be smaller than the number of sentences. It's working. You can extend the script of course with anything, you can add more options, you can instantiate other options once the dialogue ends. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel. Bye.